In this video, I'm going to be comparing a $150 electric violin that I bought on Amazon to the $700 NS Design Wave Electric Violin. Uh, I'm going to be playing very similar stuff on both instruments uh, so you can really hear the difference in quality. Uh, but before we get to the sound test, let's first just take a quick look at these instruments. One of the biggest differences between these two instruments is tuning. The NS Design Violin has this self-clamping tuning system, uh, which is a really, really advanced system. So basically, it's very, very easy to tune, and it stays in tune, even compared to like uh, traditional violins with like the planetary pegs that are already easy to tune, but you kind of still have to, you know, tune it every once in a while. By some magical power, you don't really have to tune this violin as much. It just stays in tune, which is really, really cool. This instrument, however, is really, really hard to tune. And let me show you what I mean. I managed to get the A somewhat in tune, but I've been trying to tune the D for days now. And so it doesn't stay in tune. The peg just does not want to stay in there. I'm really pushing it in, uh, but it just keeps slipping. So it's happening with the D and the G. So be aware of that. When I'm comparing um, these instruments and during the sound tests, this is going to be out of tune. Another big difference is playability. Uh, the NS Design Violin is really easy and intuitive to play. I don't know who cut the bridge on this instrument, but they were probably half asleep because it's impossible to play one string at a time. And you're going to hear that in the sound test as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and compare the uh, quality of sound between these two instruments. I would also highly encourage listening to uh, this video with quality headphones or speakers. Uh, with earbuds, earphones, you're not going to hear the full uh, sonics or the full sound of these instruments. So if you get a chance, be sure to listen to it uh, through good headphones or speakers. So I'm going to start with the NS Design Violin. I'm just going to play a very simple G major scale, uh, just so you can hear the quality of the, the tone. Now this violin, I'm not going to start on the G because I can't get it in tune. Uh, I'm going to attempt something on the D string. I guess it just turned into G now. Now let's go ahead and try some spiccatos. And now this violin. Oops. It was in tune like 30 seconds ago. And now I'm going to try some pizzicatos. All right, so I hope you can hear the difference in the quality of the tones uh, between these instruments. The NS Design, uh, the sound is just a lot fuller. Uh, it just feels more present, it's a lot more bold. Uh, whereas the cheap electric violin, um, it sounded very nasally, it sounded very wispy. And when I was trying like staccatos or pizzicatos, there was just this really, really twangy, almost like, a, like I'm playing a banjo uh, kind of sound. Not really what I was going for. And of course, there's the issue of tuning and playability. Um, even if this $150 electric violin had the best sound in the world, 
it wouldn't matter because it's almost impossible to play. So it's definitely worth investing in an electric violin that you actually want to play and you enjoy playing. I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to check out more electric violins at